Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. It's been a couple of days since I played, so I figured we're just gonna go for a random run. Rather than actually go through the insurmountable amount of effort to figure out whether or not it's an Isaac run or a random run, I think, you know, we could have randomed Isaac there. So we gave everybody a fair shake, basically. And we got Kane, which as far as I'm concerned, is the most win-win situation, you know? Some people like seeing Isaac because, uh, you know, it adds some more variety. The D6 makes things interesting. Some people think that uh, Isaac is the least important or least fun character to watch um, because the D6 kind of has a you know smoothing out effect so bad items get re-rolled and you end up using some of the same items over and over and over uh, some people like seeing me play as Blue Baby, Samson, and Eve because they suck and that's funny wow it was actually a pretty good chest there if we can ever get a, a key to go to the shop um, I'm not even talking about Mr. Boom. It's fine for now, but anyway. Um, but some people hate seeing me play as those characters because I'm, you know, typically worse with them and the runs end up being a little bit shorter. Um, but Kane? Kane's just a good all-around guy, right? Like, everybody can get down with a Kane. Now, Kane, I can get into. Good uh, prospects. Doesn't start overpowered, but uh, the more pills you get, the stronger you become. Got nine cents already, so I'm just looking to see if we can get more money, and so far, so good. Maybe we'll be able to make the shop worthwhile for ourselves. So this Mr. Boom should kill Duke of Flies. It got very close, like two hits away. Um, and it is an XL floor, so I wanted to just, like, maybe use Mr. Boom on both boss fights. Um, just to speed things up, we will definitely pick up meat right away because it's freaking awesome. Uh, and we'll go get Mr. Boom charged up. I don't really want to use bombs if I can avoid using bombs. Because okay, well, I will use... Um, well, you know what? Why don't we just use Mr. Boom? There's a lot of floor left here. That actually worked. Okay, that was kind of surprising to me. I was scared for a minute. Oh, we should shoot the poop as well because there is, um, you know, the possibility that we get enough money to actually make the shop worthwhile, which would be excellent. Especially, you know, you know, the items change a little bit, like the tier list changes a little bit depending on your character. So, um, if we're playing as uh, Kane, something like Mom's coin purse would be an awesome item to find in the shop. Possibly, you know, three HP upgrades and a tears upgrade or something like that. So I imagine we'll probably get a little bit more money here. If you're wondering why I'm not fighting the boss just yet, it's because I would like to uh, get Mr. Boom charged up. Just make it a little easier. Can basically make it so the fight takes half as long, depending on who we're fighting against. It could also make it so that I, you know, end up distracting myself and, and hurting myself as a result of focusing on using Mr. Boom instead of actually, um, you know, hitting and dodging the enemy. But I'm confident that we'll be fine for now. Pretty big floor here. You explode with flies, yes, but your buddy explodes with bombs, which is why I love him being in this corridor right down here. We can maybe find a secret room. Nope, but we tried. So let's take this Mr. Boom in here. <clears throat> I'm hoping that we don't get famine. I'm hoping we get HP upgrade deal with the devil. I mean, that's an obvious kind of choice at this point, but just to reiterate for the 9,000th time, it's gonna be double monster. I'm just gonna put the, you know, Mr. Boom down. It worked very well. They're both like two shots away from death. There we go, and there we go. That was very easy. We got Super Bandage, which basically was what I was asking for, maybe even a little bit better. And uh, then we get Brimstone Demon Baby. Because I love you, I'm not gonna pick these up. I had I tweeted fairly recently, and this will let you know how long the backlog is, but I tweeted and I was like, if I make it off of this crazy bus, if the bus was a dangerous situation, then I will um, never pick up Brimstone again. That's obviously a lie. I am going to pick up Brimstone, but I'm enjoying this run enough right now that I'm not going to pick it up right away. If there had been almost anything else, I would have taken Mom's Knife. I just find Mom's Knife more fun than Brimstone. Actually, you know, like, to be real with you, the reason I didn't take Brimstone is because I actually just didn't know if I had taken it on the last run, so better safe than sorry, right? <clears throat> this also has the added benefit of giving us the possibility of deals with the Angel uh, as soon as the next floor, potentially. So, I'm not going to pick up Bum Friend, but I will pay five cents for this pill. Tears upgrade. Well worth it. Uh, and it was pretty much risk-free to begin with, so why not, right? Could look for the secret room with Mr. Boom, but I'm not going to. Uh, instead, I'll save it for the possibility of, you know, Tinted Rocks. Maybe we'll use it to try to find a secret room uh, at the end of the floor, but I just want to make sure there's no Tinted Rocks prior to that. And we get another pill. Is that another... It's not another Tears upgrade. It's totally different. It is Balls of Steel. Okay, enjoying the rotation so far. Par for the course is Kane to have uh, decent pills, but you could also end up just getting, you know, bombs are key, luck up, speed up, etc, etc. So I'm happy with the ones that we've gotten so far. Should find our other item room basically adjacent. I was thinking this room, but I guess the next room. And uh, hopefully we'll get a better shop item next time, but hey, getting a tears upgrade from the shop is also a pretty sweet deal. 
All right, and we're getting a lot of money from poop on this run so far. I like it. Very good first floor. You know, two HP upgrades, plenty of spirit hearts, a tears upgrade. Mr. Boom, not the best spacebar item in the game, but pretty good. Uh, pretty good, you know, considering we had nothing to start with, I guess I should clarify. And our item room contains a tack fly, which is totally okay. Our second item room, I should say. And uh, I think we're gonna get through this entire floor without taking damage, which is, you know, kind of a, a huge positive in and of itself. Just for my own confidence. So this cane run is shaping up quite nicely. We've pretty much eliminated uh, Kane's starting problem of not having as much HP as Isaac. And we've, uh, you know, played to a lot of his strengths as well. Especially getting as, as many pills as we could. But anyway, no keys, so we're not going to be opening up this golden chest. Instead, we'll just be heading down to the next floor. Not going to waste bombs looking for secret rooms in situations like this. Maybe on the next floor we will, because we could bomb our way into a shop or into an item room or something. But for now down to the next floor. And of course it's Curse of Darkness, which means it's gonna be more or less impossible for me to actually tell if there's a secret room into shop possibility here. This might not even be the shop, this could be a library. Which would actually possibly be better for me, because we can get rid of Mr. Boom for potentially a better, um, better item. Oh, there's our first little bit of damage. And our second, so there's one spirit heart down the shitter for no reason. Well, the, the, the re no good reason, I should say. Obviously, there was a reason, and that reason is that I was really bad at dodging this. Uh, there is a boss room down here, which means, theoretically, we could bomb our way into the shop. So I'm going to try that right away. Uh, and hopefully we snag uh, a second deal with the devil, and it thinks about what it's done and comes back with some high-quality items. Otherwise, uh, somebody's going to get a timeout. Or deal with the angel, and uh, we get a whole different pool, and maybe get Sacred Heart or something. No secret room there. Okay. That means that we will go fight our boss, because Mr. Boom is charged up. And it's going to be Fistula... Uh, not really the best, uh, enemy from a Mr. Boom standpoint. I think I'm just gonna drop this bad boy over here and we'll see what happens as a result. Basically, just shortcuts a little bit of the fight, which is what Mr. Boom, you know, does at the best of times. Oh, don't explode. Thank you. Um, but it, it doesn't make our fight easier. It just kind of skips a section of it. And we should be fine here now. Um... We'll get you, and you're done, and if we get a special room, ah, there we go. I was gonna say, if we get a special room, I would like to. I don't want the Bible, though. This is a pretty shitty item, so uh, we're gonna stick with Mr. Boom for now. We're gonna take our range upgrade. Not really thrilled about that, uh, you know, one-two punch there. It's okay. With only 12 cents, not very excited about our shop just yet, but I will use my key there if we can get to 15 cents. Which I assume is going to be pretty likely. You know, we got way more money than that on the last floor. Mind you, it was a an XL floor, but still. Well, there's a red heart. Wouldn't expect to find any arcades on this floor. Could possibly get a temperance card. Could possibly get, um, you know, uh, just a random slot machine room that I could blow up. We'll see. Mr. Boom for a penny is an interesting situation. I kind of want to just do some exploration first. We'll definitely hit up the curse room before leaving this floor. Hopefully I can take out some of these guys. Should probably start thinking about using Mr. Boom offensively on rooms that are not just the boss room, because that could have saved me from taking a little bit of damage here. And it's got such a quick cooldown that I think it would be stupid not to. Let's see what we've got going on in here, though. <clears throat> Teleported to the deal with the angel, so that was, you know, a little bit of a waste, but that's okay. And, uh, where would our shop be? Can it be up from here? Like a Shania Twain song? I don't think so. So give me a moment here. I may be a little quieter as I try to, you know, do my mental mapping. I think it might be directly above that room, like this room right now. Huh? I actually don't know. I think we might be in a, like, an awful situation. Uh, D20. Not an awful situation, you know what I mean. D20 is better than Mr. Boom. So I think what we'll do... So we'll put Mr. Boom down here. And then we'll try to make good use of... Womp womp. We'll try to make good use of D20. Are there rooms with more than one... Like, I put it down there to get the penny, but also maybe reroll it. Are there rooms with more than one consumable on them is what I'm trying to get at. Um, we might have... Ah, we can't go to the shop anymore. I was like, we might as well go and see if there's a pill in there. Uh, yeah, this room has two consumables. Now it has a key and a bomb. 
Do we use our key? I think we use our key, and then if there's a pill in there, we can buy it. Maybe there's an item at half price as well. We could always just buy another key after going in. There's a pill, and it's um, balls of steel. So three cents for a spirit heart, or two spirit hearts. Um, it's okay. I would love to buy mom's purse, but I don't think we can find the secret room. Let's see if we can, though. Oh, we, we found it easily. And it gave us the onk, so we wouldn't have been able to buy uh, mom's purse anyway, as far as I am aware. The only way we would have been able to buy mom's purse is by not getting as much, or not spending as much money on the last floor, but we only spent five cents on the last floor, so it's not that big of a deal. But we do have um, the D20 now. It's it's kind of a weirder item than Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom's very straightforward, um, and D20 can be a little bit more uh, zany, but it is also extremely, extremely good, so... Hopefully, uh, we find a good way to make this work. Probably what we'd be thinking about is uh, using it like crazy on arcades. So, you know, normally you play the Blood Bank, and the Blood Bank gives you money in exchange for red hearts. Now we could re-roll those individual pennies if we don't need them and, and turn them into, you know, keys, which might be more valuable, or, you know, golden chests, which might be amazing if we could actually get the keys necessary to open them. And, you know, yada yada. Let's see what we got in here. More bombs. That's good, because I am going to use a bomb right now to see if we can actually get into our uh, item room this way. Maybe get it quickly as opposed to... Yeah, yeah, perfect. This is interesting. I think I'm going to pick up the nickels. I'm going to have to pick up one more cent to do this. But then we'll save this room for when our D20 is ready again, and we'll get six pennies rerolled here, which will be awesome. Harlequin Baby is what it is, and what it is is okay. Um, don't need that yet, but if we find a blood bank, then I would love to use that. So I picked up the, like, high-value money there, and we'll come back and, you know, for a bomb, we can reroll six pennies into something better. I definitely would love to get a, uh, hanged man card, so I could fly over to those pills, which, uh, I know two of them. There's a tears upgrade and a balls of steel over there. Can you please, uh, shoot at me, so that I don't have to use a bomb to access this area over here? All right, well, you know, my patience is running a little bit thin. There you go. You did that. Never forget. So we'll put a bomb down here. Maybe this is a more valuable uh, reroll target for D20. It's not. So we'll just pick up the money. We're only going to get, like, one reroll per floor until we get uh, something like Nun's Habit 9 Volt anyway, so... Now, I believe there is a way to get one bomb here. Or, is it, like, one bomb for four bombs. We've got enough that if we fuck up, it's okay, so let's try it. Well... We'll still gain two bombs from this. I've got to... Maybe I put it on the other side, like on the bottom. Anyway, let's fight our boss first. Who do we have here? Who is going to be the gatekeeper to a deal with the angel slash devil? And now I've probably screwed myself out of a chance. Still haven't taken red heart damage, but, um, you know, taking damage in general is not going to help us out. Attack fly doing work. That was very quick. Oh, Cat of Nine Tails, lovely. Yeah, fuck you too. Okay, plenty of time to get our D20 recharged anyway. Was really hoping we would get the ability to fly from that devil room, and then, you know, that would correspond with some other upgrades, quite obviously. Though, I short-circuited the brains of those green men there. And just keep it up. Half red heart, can't do anything with that yet, but I would not be surprised to come across an arcade on this floor, so I'm hoping that that ends up being plausible. There's a free trip to that chest for us, and a bomb, and two more keys, definitely not re-rolling those. All right, so let's come back in here, and this could be a very important moment, especially if it gives us a ton of keys. Uh, it, it worked out pretty well. Two keys, two bombs, and uh, two pennies, and another bomb. So three bombs, two cents, and two keys is a really nice turnaround there. And that is the, you know, D20's power is that it turns items or consumables that are unnecessary into literally anything else. So almost every D20 roll, I think, is is basically bound to be better than what you started with. So Super Sloth, maybe like a Bob's Rotten Head, but I'd rather just get a tarot card. Like the Hanged Man would be sweet. And it is a tarot card. It is the Emperor, which is still pretty good, but not immediately good for us. And on Catacombs 2, uh, now I'm excited to go to the shop because we have tons of money, and uh, we know that there's not going to be a mini-boss. Ooh, and we found the second secret room. So we'll see if this is uh, an Eternal Heart, and if it is, then we won't pick it up just yet because there might be a Blood Bank on this floor. It's not, it's a bunch of Red Hearts, which is also worth playing the Blood Bank for, but there's not going to be a Blood Bank on this um, 
on this level. Unless there's a tarot card in the shop. On the shop we find the ladder, which I don't think it actually allows us to get the pills, but I'm gonna buy it anyway. Just because we don't have a reroll, so we might as well, you know, get what we can get. And if this helps us get one pill and some money, then it's paid for itself. Um, apart from that, our money situation is just so adequate that it seemed reasonable. I'm pretty sure it doesn't allow us to get the pills. No, not quite. Two spaces. That's okay. And I'm not gonna take Cat of Nine Tails, so we're pretty much leaving this floor having gotten not too much Harlequin Baby and an Emperor card. But we're lucky that we've been, uh, you know, gifted a relatively strong run prior to this. In fact, like, that first XL floor was really, uh, amazing for us, and since then it's been kind of, eh, but... I'm certainly not in a, a position of, you know, imminent danger or anything like that. So, one more penny would be awesome. Didn't actually get the Tinted Rock there, to my surprise. Extra Spirit Heart, lovely. Probably will visit the Curse Room, but not yet. Deals with the Devil and Angel uh, are still big priorities for me. Oh, I got stuck on the ladder there. This is a weird situation where if I didn't have the ladder, I think I would have been much less likely to take damage. I will pick that up. Gotta find the right room to use the D20 on. Even though it's charged up already, I would rather, you know, save it and end up not using it for the chance to use it on a better room than using it on a shitty room and missing a chance as a result. So, it's like, you know, it is a risk-reward thing. I might end up using it suboptimally, but it's only because I want to make sure that I'm maximizing my chances to use it. Like, this one's okay, but I'd have to use bombs to reroll these, so... Or to get these things after I re-roll them. No, I wouldn't, because I have the ladder. Fuck, probably should have re-rolled that. Alright, well, we need a speed upgrade. Uh, it's okay. Starting to kind of run out of steam a little bit here. Health is still good, but... Uh, we haven't really upgraded ourselves defensively for a while, so... I am gonna pick up this stuff. I know we should probably re-roll it, but... Whatever. Thirteen bombs means fairly likely I can find the secret room. Even though we are on a Curse of Darkness floor. God damn, Harlequin Baby didn't quite uh, do what I needed you to do there. Protect me from getting hit by that fly. But again, this could all turn around. Like, not that it's even in a bad position right now, but it could all turn around with one good deal with the Devil or Angel. Maybe that Mob Trap room will be a suitable... Uh, you know what would be the best target, actually, for this reroll at this point? We fight Greed, and he drops, like, 100 cents. He usually drops, like, 7. But even if he drops 7 cents, well worth it. What do you got for me? Another penny. Alright, well, we'll check this out first. Not greed. Uh, instead, we get the compass, which is lovely, and we get a pill. Bombs are key. Speed upgrade. Alright, good to know it's part of the rotation, but we'll probably be looking to get rid of that uh, via a small rock or, you know, fat odd mushroom or something eventually. Might as well. Ten bombs is uh, not a game-winning item, but I'd rather have ten than not have ten. So, let's keep this up here. Twenty-four bombs is... Enough that I can really go hard trying to find the secret room, which again, might vindicate me for not using that D20 on an earlier room. In fact, we might have been able to use it on both. So, maybe it won't vindicate me as much as I thought it would. Ooh, careful. Careful, that was not careful enough I would suggest. Ooh, hoo hoo. Eternal heart, huh? We're gonna take that. You might be saying, well, wait, 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 you might find like a blood bank, a temperance card. If we find a temperance card, we'll take it with us. Even though it'll cost us the Emperor card. Um, but I'm going to take it because I don't trust myself to not forget it on a Curse of Darkness floor. Now, we have been to the shop. Can't remember if we've been to the item room. One key, some more pennies. I'll take them. Super Gluttony. Alright. I really hope we just snag the HP here. We haven't gotten an HP upgrade since the, the first two floors. Or the, the first double floor. So I would very much like to uh, up the ante a little bit in that regard. Kind of regretting not taking Brimstone, but it's been fun regardless. And you're not dead. Okay, now you're dead. Okay, this is a, a suitable reroll, I would say. We got a Spirit Heart and a Bomb out of it. Not so good. But it does absolve me from trying to find the Secret Room to some extent. Which is also nice. Probably suboptimal, but, you know, one great item or trinket out of that would have made it um, at least palatable. Okay, don't risk losing this uh, eternal heart. That's an important part of this right now. So I'm going to put this here and then we'll do the glitch or the exploit that allows us to maybe find second secret room. Nope. We tried though. 
Uh, we got a bomb back, so no big deal. Can't believe we haven't found a, a terminal over here yet. This seems like a really big floor. I mean, it is the depths, but still. Kind of thought uh, we would be done with that by now. There we go. And I still can't remember if we've actually been to the item room on this floor, so... Uh, we'll do some more exploration after this. But first, let's see if we get uh, you know our deal with the devil dreams come true. Or Angel, but it would have to be a good item, not... Uh, even Scapular, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes it ends up saving my life, but uh, I don't love it. I would really love to get Relic Miter, Sacred Heart, Fate, Holy Grail, or the Halo, though. Maybe even some other items in there that I forgot. Uh, but I think Deal with the Devil is like a higher percentage chance of giving me an item that I would actually love. But now that we've seen Deals with the Angel, I don't know if we can actually get Deals with the Devil again. Not that it, you know, I'm just, I'm filling time right now while we try to kill Loki. Don't judge me too much on the... That was really bad. Don't ju That was even worse. I didn't see it. It kind of blends in with the ground. Okay, now I'm actually kind of mad. At least we didn't get hit at the end there. Still, though. We do get a deal with the devil. We do get an HP upgrade. The deal with the devil contains the pact, which I will absolutely take. The shovel, which I'm not touching with a 10-foot fucking pole. Uh, but I'm very happy to have the pact for the tears upgrade and the... Uh, well, the extra speed at this point is not that exciting, but the, mostly the tears upgrade. And the damage. Okay. So, fuck the secret room for now. I don't think we've been to this side. Oh, we haven't. So there should be an item room available over here. It's hard to keep it straight. Oh, th wait. This is a total dead end. I guess we have been to the item room. It wasn't Harlequin Baby. What the heck did... We'll, we'll check out the curse room. What the heck did we get in there, then? Puppy's head. You know, it's worth the spirit heart, but... Just to get a little closer to becoming Guppy to make it a possibility, but... Mm. Well, I did go to the item room. Did it... It's not the... It didn't have the D20 in it. It was a speed upgrade? Yeah, it was the belt. Well, that, you can forgive me, I think, for not remembering that, given that it's a pretty forgettable item. So, we did get the compass on this floor. We got the pact. We, we got... 2 HP, so that's going to pay for the Pact, because we have this Eternal Heart to back us up. So, I'd say that was a, a very good floor, um, which unfortunately didn't necessarily give us enough to secure a victory in and of itself, but, you know, can't always get what you want. I'm going to save this uh, this D6. Well, I don't have to save it, actually. Let's, let's rephrase that. I'm going to make sure that one of our D20, not D6, uh, uses is for... The uh, shop, which I'm going to call the Greed Room, because pretty likely we're going to run into uh, that bad boy in there. So that could give us a lot of money. Just best to save uh, save it for the possibility, I'd say. Um, there's no arcade, which is disappointing. So I don't think uh, that boss trap room could have re-rolled that, but I don't know if it would have been worth saving the Spirit Heart. Um, I will use a bomb to try to get that key, though. Okay... Let's come down this way. Um, yeah, you know, I, I kind of forgot what I was saying in the middle of that there, but it's okay. The early onset Binding of Isaac related forgetfulness. Don't worry about it. We could just take out this guy. And we could get that. Not worth re-rolling. Oh, fuck. Okay. There's always a point, like a sobering point on an Isaac run where you start taking damage... Instead of, you know, stacking up HP, and you realize, I'm not going to live forever if things continue the way that they're con they're going right now. So, um, this is that moment for us right now. Especially when we keep running into these assholes. Um, so we really are going to need some positive stuff to happen. Probably on the next floor, because this floor, you know, there's not a whole lot going on. Please drop a staggering amount of money. I mean, there is stuff going on on this floor, but there's not, you know, game-winning items in all likelihood stacked up in the item room. Basically, I'm saying that next floor deal with the devil is probably our likely chance. And, of course, the one time I, like, don't want the Steam sale to show up, it shows up. Why does it show up? Or why don't I want it? Because we can't reroll it, so... so what do we do? Um, well, we, we continue being quite disappointed by the fact that we run into Mask of Infamy every 10 seconds. We run over here, drop a bomb. Kill them all. Get a spirit heart back. Would we rather have an item from the library than the D20? 
I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the answer to that is no. D20 is a lot of things, you know? It's Spirit Heart generation, it's pill generation, which is extremely important for us. Um, would we rather have, like, Book of Revelations? I don't think so, especially not with anything, or, like, without anything to back it up. Like, no Nun's Habit, no, um, battery, no 9-volt, etc., etc. So, I'm, I, sorry I took those items so much. That was an accident, but, uh, we did want to get the free Spirit Heart. A key for a Spirit Heart in our current situation, I think, is a, a pretty okay trade. And things are getting a little sketchy here. Definitely worth a bomb. Maybe we'll even find our second secret room down here. That's the ideal situation there. Working our way over to our item rooms. Thought for sure I could have, or could have sworn I picked up an HP upgrade. Not an HP, a range upgrade, but still not really doing that well from a range standpoint. Ah, that's another situation where the ladder kind of fucked me. Mom's pad is actually pretty alright, but can't really do it. Oh, this is a weird one. It's not a weird one, it's just kind of... It's tricky, you know? We've had good stuff, but we haven't quite gotten what we need. Which is basically, at this point, just more HP and more damage. Which, if you simplify it, Isaac is a game of HP and damage. Uh, and, and we haven't gotten quite enough of either. Just a, a few too many range upgrades, a few too many speed upgrades, a few too many, you know, shot speed upgrades. Just shit we don't really want stacking up. Okay. Uh, this is a reroll and a half right here. So that pill is a tears upgrade, I think. It is. That's really good. I think we'll just take everything. Because we probably, uh, almost definitely won't get another reroll. And we may want to go to that mob trap room. It's something I'm going to have to, you know, as I often say, we're going to cross that bridge when we come to it. Because I might be able to hurt myself. Well, I'll definitely be able to hurt myself. I might be able to replenish my health enough to make that hurting not so bad. There's another range upgrade. But then again, we could, you know, go through all that trouble, walk in there and find out that it's a, you know, magic eight ball or something like that, so. Or like magic fucking hate ball, if you know what I mean. You should, because like I literally just said what I meant. Most people do, most of the time. Sometimes there's, you know, sarcasm. Sometimes people are trying to drop a hint that will go unbeknownst to other people, but uh, for the most part, people are pretty good about saying what they actually mean. Okay, careful. And uh, we got, you know, the red, white, and green here. The patriotic colors of zombie America. Probably want to blow that up. I don't see any red hearts, like, sitting here. Ooh, that is how we end up going to this mob, or this boss trap room. Don't pay out yet, you motherfucker. Just wait. You usually pay out with shit anyway. Might as well let me get one more in there. Okay, good. This is, this is fine. I like this. Maybe this is the seam that we need to open. And then we come in here. What did I tell you? We might as well see what the tarot card is. It is a, a playing card as opposed to a tarot card. That's bad damage. Uh, which is great. Because it means that it could be a, a free ticket to the deal with the devil. I am taking enough damage to frighten me right now. Don't die before mom, though. That would just be depressing at this point. I took a fucking shot speed upgrade in order to make this tarot card happen, or this playing card happen. Don't screw me now. That was awful damage on my part. I'm disappointed in myself. I really thought he'd be dead by now, though. I really thought he'd be dead by now. Of course, I was saying that. Yep, uh, that was uh, pretty much what I expected there. So we want to take the Emperor card with us. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, first, we're just gonna come down here, because there's some extra red hearts. That's not our secret room, I'm just an idiot. Um, curse room is tempting, but also kind of scary. We have to play Demon Judgment at this point. I think we have to play Demon Judgment, at least, to, uh, give us the best chance possible of getting, like, a good item, uh, that, that could win the game for us, but it is possible that if this goes south, we're just fucked. And if that happens, I apologize, but... You know, I'm, I'm doing this knowing it, it's high risk, potentially high reward, potentially no reward, but potentially high reward. Come on, work with me here, motherfucker. Work with me. Guppy's tail. It takes us so close, so close to becoming Guppy. We need one more Guppy item. 
Preferably Guppy's paw, which would actually make a great deal of difference right now. Now, don't die against Mom. We don't have crazy damage. We don't have very much HP either, though, so... It's a scary moment. Okay, definitely don't get hit here. That's a big part of this. Good. You know, you got the methodology down. You got the touch, you got the power as well. I guess we're gonna do it. Here we go. Alrighty. Ah, oh, there's a tinted rock. And that gives me a great deal of added confidence that I did not have five seconds ago. So I'm very excited about that. Probably that happens once every, like, 15 mom fights where you get some damage. Uh, once every 15 mom fights or so, you get a, a tinted rock helping you out. I'm very glad that it chose this run to benefit me. And it looks like we're going to come out of this just fine. Just watch out. We can, um... Actually, you know what would be an awesome drop is the cardboard box. Because we could reroll all the shit we don't want, or don't want that much. Maybe get more shit we do want. Okay. So, we would definitely want the Polaroid. We definitely want the pill. Actually, that pill is a speed upgrade, is it not? Okay, so we don't want that. We do want the Joker card, and we're going to use it right now. Um, I don't want the penny. I don't. I can go without the bomb. So let's Joker. That's fine, you know. Not thrilled to be uh, fighting Krampus when I, you know, had visions of myself getting Mom's knife or at the very least the ability to fly. But at least it's a, you know, an objective upgrade, and we have the range necessary uh, to make Lump of Coal work in our favor. The only problem is I did pick up that, you know. Shot speed upgrade. But the shot speed upgrade did allow us to get, um, you know, the 8-ball. It allowed us to get 2 of hearts, which allowed us to um, play Demon Judgment to the point where we got Guppy's tail. So if we end up becoming Guppy, then there you go. It worked out. It's all about uh, playing the odds here, you know, rolling the dice. And do we want to re-roll everything? I would rather be able to pick up the Spirit Heart, so let's do that. And we want to pick up the Emperor card, too, but we don't want to pick up the Bomb. And we don't want to pick up that pill, so we got four rerolls here. Well, at least it takes us back to full health, right? Hanged Man, I don't think, really provides us with much value here. Um, and if we're going to end up losing it anyway, we might as well use the Hanged Man to go into the curse room. And we can check that out, because we're going to be leaving with full HP now. Okay. Not a guppy item, unfortunately. I had... Visions of uh, of floating away in our feline paradise. That didn't work out though, but half a spirit heart for the attempt felt right to me in the, at the moment. So we'll see. Really would love Guppy's paw deal with the devil on the next floor. We'll see. But even just getting lump of coal makes a difference. We're gonna try to bum rush the boss here. That's a it's a damage upgrade. It's a roundabout way of getting a damage upgrade, but it's a damage upgrade no less. With a relatively high rate of fire and the the range that we have, I would expect uh, it's more beneficial than it is on your average run. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so that's where we're gonna use our reroll. The bombs are valuable, I'll admit, but I'd I'd rather reroll them. Actually, you know what? We might want to try that in here instead. We'll see though. We don't we don't have a reroll ready yet, so it's no rush anyway. Matchstick, uh, that's another re-rollable item, or trinket, I guess. Gotta be wary about playing that Blood Bank, even though it would give us uh, a pretty sweet D20 re-roll possibility. Curved Horn is so good, but we don't have what we need in order to be able to use it at this point in the game. Mom's Purse, which I could have gotten, but, um, well, maybe mathematically I actually could not have, but... I forgot I had the Ankh, by the way, so if I die, we still respawn, come back to life. Pills are good. Eh, pills are not bad. Okay, so first... Oh, it's bad damage. Um, we'll open that later. First things first, let's fight the boss. It's double Loki. We've already done this once before. Get some more bombs in here. Hey, we already killed one Loki. That's super good. Okay, now it's just don't blow it. Don't take the dumbest damage of all time. No deal with the devil. So sad. Okay, well. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. We're not going to play the blood bank. Just be smart. Instead, we're going to reroll this down here. And we got a, basically a key and a bomb for our troubles, but we were going to get a bomb anyway, so we pretty much picked up a key. 
So, I guess I'm gonna open this mon- I've gotta give it a try, right? Ugh. We should be able to finish this room off pretty easily anyway, but um, I'm feeling like at an all-time low for our chances of winning here. Not an all-time low, but an all-time low, you know, over the course of this run. Confidence is, is dwindling a little bit. At least we got the HP upgrade in the form of the stem cells. And of course, if we live long enough to be carrying the Ankh into the blue baby fight, things could work out in our favor, but it's kind of unlikely. Double Monstro, huh? Knockback kind of annoying, but as long as I stay far enough away, uh, I can use my ridiculous range to get some pretty crazy damage uh, via Lump of Coal. As you can see, whittling them down pretty quickly here. And they can't hit me from afar either, so, uh, you know, two good reasons. Let's check for the secret room. It is there. And it's three cents. I'm not gonna go through five more rooms just for the opportunity to reroll three cents. So we'll head down to the next floor, unfortunately. Now there is a curse room and a judgment, okay. Gotta watch out here because my speed is so high. Um, so one thing's gonna happen with this judgment, one of two things. It'll give us an item quickly, or it'll drop a bunch of consumables that I wanna reroll the shit out of. Strength card is fine, but, you know, not worth kind of, like, setting policy about, if that makes sense. Keep it up here. I'll, I'll take all day. I don't mind. Extra keys are nice. We'll be able to use those for a variety of reasons. Mostly opening things, though. What I do in my personal life should not be of interest to you, though. That's really good. Okay, that was kind of close. Definitely want to make sure we're leaving this Pit of Despair with the Emperor card. There's our HP, and rather than fight Mom, why don't we work our way down to that curse room first? I've got, like, I would forever question myself if I didn't go to it. What if it contains the, I wouldn't forever question myself. I would probably get over it within about 15 to 20 seconds, but I would wonder, I would wonder, was that uh, a guppy item in there? Was that guppy's paw? At least if we go down there, we can check. Hopefully we don't lose all of our HP in the process. I fucking hate Gertie Jr., yo. Okay, well, at least we got one red heart back. We're gonna lose two just by this, you know, foolish endeavor that I'm taking, right? So, um, we've got to make sure that we have enough to... I don't even need to go into the mom's heart fight with full HP. It would be nice, though, you know? Just holding out here. Ideally, I could kill this Gish. Yeah, make our dodging a lot easier. Good. Curse room's closing in. All you gotta do on that room, make sure you kill the laser dude right away, as long as your speed's not god-awful, or not too high, you should be fine. Well, I probably shouldn't have picked that up, just in case that was re-rollable, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Two hearts down the drain. That's so disappointing. <laughs> if it had, well, at least we didn't lose any more hearts, right? Like, we, we actually only lost one heart for going in, but... It is disappointing that we didn't get what we wanted there. And the deal with the devil, unfortunately, was uh, shitty. So I don't even want that half-red heart. I'd rather stay at a half-heart interval. This room sucks. I hate it. Hey, we did it. Thank you, flies. High Priestess, pretty good. Pretty good. But we're going to re-roll that room that just came before us. So, oh. We did it. We didn't do it yet. Oh, we did it. Okay. That's what we want right there. That's what we want right there. And then please, 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 please. Pills, pills, pills. Another golden chest. Well, we can't avoid the full health, unfortunately. And we got more bombs. Eh, well. So we'll probably save bombs as much as we can anyway. Ah, you know what? No, we're gonna use bombs. We're gonna use bombs like crazy on this fight. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up taking damage I don't wanna take. Do as I say, not as I do. Good. We're only gonna need to use like six or seven. We'll probably get more back just by virtue of having the, the D20 to begin with. If we end up winning this run, it's gonna be... You know, first off, unlikely, but secondly, a, a triumph of the fucking soul. More bombs in here. Didn't really do any much damage to mom there. Sneak in, stand as far back as we possibly can. You know, do that uh, crazy lump of coal damage. I don't think we're going to see Chubb. I hope we're not going to see Chubb. Should get a bomb in there. And bombs. Yes. Okay. Good. This is good. Not the best mom's hard fight. I took some dumb damage, but apart from that, we're fine. We got a full hard back, which is okay. 
Dare we fight Isaac right away? Uh, there's no curse room on this floor, so I honestly think the answer is yes. And, um... I think the right way to deal with this is actually to abuse bombs as much as possible. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe it's not, but we have no orbitals, so... Like, I'm very concerned. Okay, let's just be cool. It's the fact that he shoots when you get close to him that's so bothersome. Sneak some more bombs in here. Just keep it up. Stay cool. Now the pink shots, purple shots, I should say. Keep it up. Three more bombs. These bombs don't do nearly as much damage as I would have expected. There's some more. So he's at about half health. I'm at about half, half health. I don't feel good about that. So we're going to be in Blue Baby Town soon. Population probably me at the end of my life. Would love to be at a half heart interval right now, but you can't always get what you want. Sometimes life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high, because you never know when you're going to go. It was Nos. The really bad thing about Blue Baby, or like using our Ankh in this situation, is we use the Emperor card to get here. Which means that I'm going to have to um, fight my way through the entirety of the Cathedral just on Spirit Hearts. Which just means that, you know, every Spirit Heart we lose is actually a, a pretty huge tangible loss to us for our chances of actually making it to the chest and thus getting items that would maybe allow us to actually get the victory. Mind you, something miraculous appears to be almost happening here. He's dead, he's dead. Okay. Okay. No! <laughs> oh, we did it and then we didn't do it. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, it's so bad, but at least we'll break even here. Please break even here. Okay. That is so shitty. I made it so far, but then the... I mean, those angel fetuses, no joke, man. More spirit hearts, please. Uh, careful, these rocks could be bad for my health. Good chain reaction. Uh, yes. Okay, well... And... Ooh, this is by far the worst room that we've seen so far. But our range should allow us to be pretty strong. Alright, well, let's do that old song and dance again. <laughs> that sucks so bad. <laughs> oh, this is the run. If I had just taken one less hit in the early game, we could be in a much different position. We still probably would have had a pretty realistic chance at losing. I'm assuming, by the way, that my extra range, or extra damage due to my range, is worth more than getting super close and having the attack fly do damage, but that might be incorrect, but that's probably not going to be the the dis like the deciding factor, you know? Oh, uh, there we go. So that's going to be our last invincibility, and I'm pretty sure we're going to die. But you can't say I didn't at least give it a try. Especially that, um, like our real-life uh, Isaac attempt that failed so late in the game. I tried. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.